Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakbadash. I'm the brother Tazamah Amath. I'm from the Camp Company of Prophets here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teaches truth and well. Peace and citation to the whole flood that scattered abroad. And you see on my screen the straight confusion, straight confusion that is bred here in the United States of America, man. All right. And this is why this place has to be ultimately destroyed, man. We're going to keep telling Jake, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, we're going to keep telling you. We're going to keep telling you over and over that this is the land of death and confusion. This is not the land of your captivity, man. I mean, this is not, um, this is the land of your captivity. It's like a slip of the tongue. This is not your rest, all right? Let me actually grab this, but man, you see, man, a lot of scriptures pop in my mind. And Lord willing, this is edifying, man, all right? Let's, uh, let's actually start off with the scripture I just quoted. There's uh, Micah, uh, the book of Micah chapter two, verse 10. So this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Right? We were brought here. Okay? We were brought here to ultimately serve our punishment from going against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. All right? Who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. Okay? The Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? He, they, they punished us by breaking the laws. All right, and the laws was given to the Israelites, man. So this is not our rest. So you see Jake getting comfortable, Jake doing this and that. You know, ultimately, man, this is hell. This is hell for us. We in the we them the lowest of the lowest. We're saying the base man rule the earth. All right, it says because it is polluted. All right, is this not pollution? Okay, is this not a sign of pollution? A pollution of the mind okay you got um none but reprobates you got people doing things upside down and this is just a this is just the start of everything else that's about the you know happen domino effect man but you got this one you got this man dressing in a woman's uh woman's bride um dress and a woman dressing in the man's a uh, gown okay it says this couple swap roles for their wedding as a sign of commitment to each other <laughs> through super through i'm talking about <laughs> beyond through <laughs> dude first of all you got long ass hair kid <laughs> you're through all right it says it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction that is pure destruction right there <laughs> all right let's grab this man long hair this is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 14. It said, Do if not even nature itself teach you that if a man have a long hair, it is a shame unto him? This man got long ass dreads, bro. You wouldn't even know if that dude was a woman for real. I mean, if that dude was a man. Hey, that's the spirit, bro. This dude is a fucking woman, bro. <laughs> he acting like a damn woman. Okay? This is a whole man, bro. Come on, this is pure destruction. This is what this is. Why Babylon has to be destroyed, bro? It has to. There's no way around it. All right, there's no way around it. Okay, but man is not supposed to have long ass dreads down to his back. Okay, that shit is effeminate, bro. Real talk. Um. This is Psalm 23 and 4. And it says, it's classic. <clears throat> it says, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. What is the valley shadow of death? America. Bro, the minute you walk outside, you know, you could die at any moment. Okay? The air we breathe, it's nothing but chemicals. The food we eat, it's nothing but the, the uh, it's defiled. You know, we eat defiled food amongst the Gentiles. Okay, our food is defiled, man. Okay, we could die at any moment, at any moment in America. We walk, 
you know, we go anywhere, bro. We could die at any moment. The reason why we still alive is because through the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai, you know, we're set up on the path and the purpose to do his work and to teach. And the reason why we still alive is hey, through the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yah Shai at the end of the day, and all glory goes to him each and every single day. If he's this shit even beyond that, each and every second. Each and every second that goes by, Barakat the Yahweh Shimmy Al Shah, man. But it says, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Right. The Lord is with us. Alright, so we shouldn't we shouldn't fear anything that, you know, this world, you know, throws at us. But you know, we know the, the, the Lord is the one that kills and makes alive. All right, but the, the word is what comforts us. But it says, Thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Right, this word, this, this book. Okay, the words of the Lord is what comforts us, what, what protects us. All right. All right, now let's get this. Man. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 22 and uh, verse 5. And it says, The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. All right. And when you see this, this is what the scripture is speaking of, man. So like it give me one set. Right, and this is what the scripture is speaking of, man. A man a man should not put on a, a woman's attire. And, sh and vice versa, a woman should not put on a man's attire, man. This woman got a whole, you know, gown on. But this, but really this man got a whole fucking woman's dress on, bro. Bro, you should be ashamed of yourself, bro. You look, you're embarrassing, okay? You embarrassing yourself. But see, that shit is sick. That's that's why our people have. Hey, the Lord said, "Why she be stricken anymore? You're gonna revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. The whole head is sick, and the whole heart is faint. This is the this is the state in the mind of our people, man. Everything is upside down. This is confusion. Babylon." All right, America is the is the valley and shadow of death and confusion, man. The reason why men acting like women, women acting like men, is because that's what America promotes. Niggas acting effeminate and etc. Okay, let's get this. Uh, let's get this scripture. Um, uh, oh. says how long will thou go about O thou backsliding daughter for Yahweh have created a new thing in the earth a woman shall compass a man and that's what feminism is, is is brought up man the reason why you see you know women want to come you know have straight dominance is feminism okay and the fact this dude even allowed that bro you're through okay they're completely through. A, woman, a new, the Lord is making a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. You see that, man. But this is what America promotes. This is what America breeds confusion, and especially put that upon our people to go to the sin and go away against the Lord more and more and more and more. All right, to the point there's no return. All right, you want to have the woman wearing the pants, bossing this nigga around. Okay, <laughs> that's a fucking joke, bro. All right, this is a fucking joke, bro. <laughs> it says this couple swap roles for their wedding as a sign of commitment to each other. Through, man. 
But see, the Lord, the Lord put this, you know, just so we could see. All right, just so we could see how through our people are. If you don't let the Lord, man, you're gonna be in a confused state of mind. All right, you're gonna be in a confused state of mind, man. Completely confused. All right. But you see this, man. This is a new thing in the earth. A woman shall come past a man. <clears throat> All right. And yeah, this is a pictures. But look, how, how much more in the house? Okay. How much more in the house? A woman telling this do what to do, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Come on, bro. This this place has to be destroyed. All right. Let me close it out with this. Um <clears throat> I'm close out with this. Second Ezra 2 and 13. It says, Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that day may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Right, man. We can't last more and more here. Each and every day we wake up, we pray that this place gets destroyed, all right, by nuclear missiles. Okay? Because there's literally no way around it, man. If we were to stay here long. Hey, well, hey, all no flesh would be saved, bro. At all, no flesh. Okay, but see, we got the men, the Lord set up prophets and men of the Lord to, to step up and cry for all the abominations done thereof, man. Versus the others that are not. Okay, you see, you see the difference, man. You think they're crying for the all abominations, the 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 moles, the sodomy, the you know the things done in the earth? No, man. They're not crying about that, man. Right, but see, hey, we gotta stand. We standing up for something, man. These people are gonna fall for anything. We standing up for you, how about Shemuel Shah, and we having straight integrity, man. Because the Lord set up ways of life, law, session, commandments for life, but you know these guys they straightly disregard that, man. And this is why you have cancers. This is why you have diseases. This is why you your pe people are confused. This is why people talk shit about the Bible. Hey, but every out of word a man shall speak, he shall be condemned thereof in the day of judgment, man. All right? The Lord's going to put that shit right back on your plate, man. All right? And everything you do. Everything you do, man. All right? Hey, man, so with that, the Lord wins us and been edifying. We're to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kakudash. Till next time, I say Shalom.